Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Hall O'Clock with a big one and a little one from Bricklink.com. Right, so I'm going to start with a big one and put the smaller one to one side. Uh, but when I opened it, I realised that it had absolutely loads of jiffy bags on the inside. Uh, I mean, there's an absolute man of them over here. Uh, and it was already getting really quite difficult to open. So I thought I would get rid of the box and start the video anew. Uh, but the main reason why I did this order with this particular person was because they had, oh golly, an absolute load of very cheap train parts and a load of very cheap burp pieces. So we've got the big normal burp there with lots of free bricks on that one. That's very nice all different colours for under the sea and the different shapes of the sort of smaller ones and so on. There's one with fish on and all sorts. And I don't know why they've used so many jiffy bags when they've ended up just putting about five different sets of pieces all in one of them. But uh, anyway, I can't complain because it was a very good value order. And with the amount of train uh, builds that I make as well, I go through an absolute load of train wheels and train buffers. Uh, and this guy had an absolute mound of, I think it was wheels mainly. So, um, yeah, I was able to absolutely get loads of those to give me enough for plenty of upcoming cargo and passenger train builds uh, in the weeks and months to come. So that will be really good. Uh, but I can see some other items in this bag, which aren't necessarily burps, all just thrown in together. Makes it absolutely bizarre packing uh, sort of way of doing things if you ask me but this is an Injago character as you can probably uh, tell and it's got a wonderful snake tail and this character is called Scales and he was in two sets including 9444 Cole's Tread Assault uh, and he's very nice indeed now he's quite expensive I mean I don't blame people wanting this character with all of the wonderful coloring all over his head uh, and his sort of cobra sort of side bits and all the rest of it so I do understand that and this great big tail section at the bottom. Uh, so that's why it took me a while to find one that was a reasonable price because this, again, was very cheap in this store. Uh, and I wanted one of these actually for my fairground. Uh, yeah, weirdly, uh, to decorate the Ninjago World Ride that I made, the 40429 that I motorized um, because he's essentially one of the characters that people are shooting at from their little car on the sort of video screens. So I thought it'd be good to have him maybe like as a statue or maybe somebody in costume kind of uh, taking a ticket or whatever it might be. But he's a really nice character. I think you'll agree. And that colouring is great. And he seems to be in very good condition. So although he was sort of thrown in with all those other things, check out those eyes. They're very cool. Very mesmerising eyes, isn't he? Oh, I like those. Yeah, so that's really good. Uh, another thing that's just thrown in there is this torso, which has got this sort of hairy sort of pattern on the front and back and that's kind of what I thought I would use it for uh, I thought I'd use it for like a really sort of thick jumper <laughs> and put some yellow hands on it and just give it to a regular person on the street it's just a different torso maybe it's kind of like a mohair sweater or something like that that lady might wear don't know but it's originally from a character from Star Wars called Moroff who I don't really remember personally, uh, from 75172 Y-Wing Starfighter from 2017 and he's kind of a bird bear thing <laughs> one of those so that's his torso there but yeah i think that's that's really quite nice that's another little find that i found in this store just rummage through the rest of these check i haven't missed anything got a random flame piece that i didn't particularly order and then i've got one of these in trans neon orange now this is called panel 10 by 10 by 12 quarter dome very catchy title uh, and i don't think i can tell you exactly what i want this for uh, but it was kind of a bit of a risk, a bit of an experiment. Uh, and that only came in one set, 6983 Ice Station Odyssey from 1993, which was part of the Ice Planet 2002 line, <laughs> which, if you think about it, they were setting it in the future to, uh, you know, it will be going on on an ice planet in the future year of 2002. <laughs> 20 years ago now. <laughs> We didn't quite make it to that ice planet, it seems. But um, anyway, the piece is very nice. And again, despite being thrown in with all those others, it doesn't look too scratched, actually, especially for its age from 1993. Uh, but yeah, so let me just try my uh, UV torch on that because that should kind of glow quite well. 
it's better kind of on the angles where it's because it hits it more do you see that i kind of show shine that on it's not actually as bright as i thought it would be i mean it sort of glows you know that might be giving away where i'm planning to use this uh under the sea in my twenty thousand bricks under the sea cabinet uh, where i will have uv light in the bottom section uh as what well we'll have to uh have to guess really but yeah, it does glow a little bit, so that's quite good, but not as good as I thought it might be, if I'm completely honest. Anyway, so that is that. So let's move on to another one of these jiffy bags that everything's been wrapped in. And it's absolutely bizarre. It does mean if the Hood household needs uh, any jiffy bags for any reason, then we're probably sorted for the next 10 years, quite frankly, with the amount that are in here. There's just a base plate there, which we'll use in the cabinet again, and there'll be a lot of things like that. I can only imagine, I've had this before, maybe from the same vendor, I don't know, more burps, um, this sort of packaging technique, and I can only imagine that they get these things free from their place of work and decide to uh, liberate some for their own personal use, because it just cannot be cost effective to do otherwise um so anyway there is one train wheel and they're really not taking care to take off all the little bits but i'll gladly take those we've got a shield with the kind of hog's head on it which is part of the evil knight uh, series seven and hopefully we'll find his body later on <laughs> weird that it's not together uh here is another torso which is from a character which i don't really want in my city being the disney series one cheshire cat um, but I'm just going to use that as another really loud piece of, piece of clothing. So I'll just put yellow hands on there and it just looks like a really stripy pink top, I think, because the arms are really nice as well. And then maybe I can use these bright pink hands somewhere as well. Don't really know. But yeah, so that's another cheap but useful torso. And that'll give my city just that little bit more variety when, you know, I've got people walking around big areas like my fairground, for example. Oh dear, another mixed bag. Oh, and that's screwed up, isn't it? So there is another burp with some free pieces on. Yeah, they, they don't take the best care of this particular vendor. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here's another character. I have no idea why I bought, uh, but I don't have him. He's the sheriff, or rather he's the uh, sheriff not a robot. That's what he's called, isn't it? From the Lego movie. He came in uh, 70800, Getaway Glider from 2014. Um, yeah, absolutely no idea how I'll use him. I mean, he could be somebody dressed in character on my shooting range in my fairground. I do quite like his robot face. He looks sort of very angry eyebrows and so on. I, I've still got no plan of how to use my robot heads, which I have many from uh, all the uh, super secret police uh, people that I've been collecting over the days and months but he comes with his guns that wasn't as advertised so <laughs> that's another bonus so there's him then we've ah here we are here's the here's the evil knight from series seven so that's him and he's looking quite good nick actually so that's good i'll just have to give him a sword from my collection oh and another shield that's weird so he came with a shield which i don't think he was supposed to i bought the shield separately and i got another one so i've got two so another bonus so I suppose that's making up for the fact that some of this is in a bit of a state. <laughs> then we've got a white shark. You might think big whoop. Uh, but uh, this white shark with the eye on only actually came in one set. Uh, 60095 Deep Sea Exploration Vessel uh, from 2015. So yeah, for variety, it's good to get one of those as well. So yeah, I've probably seen that before, at least in loads of other colours. We've got the Series 6 Skater Girl. Just going to use her for her pieces. Already got her on skateboard uh, in Old Market Square. Uh, and then a new one for me is the Space Miner from Series 12. And oh, he's got a very interesting helmet. Is that dual molded? Or is it, oh, I think it's just printed, but it's quite an interesting helmet. And he's mic'd up, only one side of the face. I'm going to have a look at his torso as well. That is relatively less exciting, to be honest which is probably why I left him so long. I didn't get a free drill. <laughs> he wasn't supposed to come with one, so that's all right. But yeah, I just got him as a gap in my collection. He was very cheap. Oh, he does have the classic space logo. Oh, with a little drill bit on the end. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. So sometimes when you see these things in the catalogue, they're kind of like that, and you just don't get to see details until you've got them in your hands of a nice little drill version of the classic space logo. Oh, I love that. 
So maybe he's just visiting my um, cantina, alien cantina, when I get there. Um, yeah, I really like him. Cool. So that's that one. Uh, and the last, oh no, penultimate thing that got tipped out of that bag is this alien from UFO Attack from 2010. That's set 3846, which is uh, clearly a game. So I've got this one before, and I'm probably going to use him as a prize in my fairground. Um, but, you know, I just really dig them. So maybe I'll have them as aliens. Maybe they could even be in the alien cantina as just a race that's a lot smaller than everyone else. Actually, that's hilarious. Maybe I'll have to do that. <laughs> oh, and the base plate's damaged. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well, I suppose it'll be buried with loads of burps and things. So it won't matter too much. Free pieces, again, on the bottom of this very massacred tent piece. That's a bit of a shame that it was kind of just screwed up loose in that bag. But to be honest, it's made of proper canvas. So I should be able to actually give that a soak in the sink and even give it an iron to flatten it out. So, yeah, that is not bad. Yeah, so I've been collecting all the tents for some bizarre reason. I don't even know why. I mean, I could use them for all the carnies in my fairground. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, I've been collecting them all. And this is probably one, if not the last one. Uh, so this is from 850967, Jungle Accessory Set, which is actually a Friends set. Um, it doesn't look too bad for Friends at all, does it, with this sort of camo um, colouring? I mean, it's got a bit of purple on it, but it's not offensive by any means. So you know, it's not covered in hearts and, um, you know, flowers or something like that. So, yeah, more free parts and another interesting one from the list on Bricklink. A few more. I'm wondering if that's all the interesting parts now. Oh, no, that's kind of ruined that pretty bag. Yep, you can see exactly how many of these burps I bought. I mean, they were just basically a pound each, and you can't get them any cheaper than that. So, ugh, that was a little bit in there. Oh, something else as well. Um, so, essentially, I just kept going and kept going until he had none left. Uh, now, this is a very interesting part. This is the body from the uh, best droid ever from Star Wars, in my opinion, uh, who is uh, K2SO. He is unique to 75176, Krennic's Imperial Shuttle from 2016. And clearly, this is just the body part of that. Oh, and he's got a lovely emblem on the end of each arm. That's really good. Uh, I've got a couple of standard robot arms that I can give him, no problem. I think, is that muck or is that part of the detail? Do you have this? Is he supposed to have that white? I don't want to scratch it off if it's vital. Well, I think it's just battle damage or something. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, so I've got the arms. I just need the legs now because to buy this is about £10. When I saw the body for about, I don't know, a pound or something, maybe £2, I thought, yep, I'll have that. And now I just need to look out for the legs so I can complete him because he is an absolutely awesome droid. Uh, he has a really good sense of humour, in my opinion, and makes Rogue One one of the best, if not the best, Star Wars film. I'm sure that'll create some comments. Anyway, there he goes. Uh, then also in that bag were four train wheels, the vital stuff of making more train carriages. Oh no, five. More free pieces. <laughs> and the second one of these large panel pieces, because I do want to use them together. Now, will I be using them like that? Will I be using them like that? <laughs> Actually, that looks quite good. <laughs> There's a giant fish mouth. Golly, that does look good, doesn't it? Imagine that as a giant fish mouth bearing down on you. That would be a bit scary, wouldn't it? Um, or another way. You will have to wait and see. But they're very nice pieces, I must say. Yep, cool. Right, let's plough on. Mm -mm -mm. We have a lot more of the large plates I'm going to be using for my sand level. And one more minifigure. This is from Ultra Agents, Kayla Phoenix from 70170, Ultra Copter versus Antimatter. And that set, <laughs> I've bought little bits from it so many times. I've, I must have almost bought the entire set now, just in loads of little different bits. Maybe I should have just bought it at the outset and been done with it. But um, anyway, I do have this character uh, with pink hair or sort of pinky purpley hair, uh, but this is the blue haired version, so I can use it as a different ultra agent. Uh, and I still do have plans to do a secret base for the goodies, uh, probably on the white train, but definitely on one of the passenger trains anyway, that sort of folds out and has loads of cool stuff in it. Um, but I haven't got on to designing that because I keep designing other stuff. Ha! Huh, the list is endless. 
but it's a good problem to have having too many ideas much better than having mental block and not being able to think of what to do now there's a very interesting piece all on its own jiffy bag which really wasn't necessary it's kind of this big girder piece now i've used these in gray oh golly how do you it's crazy packaging this i can't get into it i'm gonna use my knife um yeah i've used these in light bluish gray as part of the girders for my girder bridge but this is the first time i've had one in orange and they were in two sets, uh, including 4210 Coast Guard Platform from 2008. Uh, and I got it out of curiosity, really, to play around with. I was thinking of using it for sort of scaffolding or something like that to support a skyscraper or maybe some sort of feature. Even under the sea, it could just be some sort of part of something that fell off a very large ship or something like that. It's just rusting and that's why it's orange. You know, I could use all these Technic holes to attach loads of sea life to or something like that. So yeah, I might be in the market for more of these to build something else with, but what I won't be doing is using them for a bridge because that'll be too similar to the one I've already done. What else have we got? Um, yeah, a lot more plates and some free pieces. Obviously this person doesn't like listing all the very small pieces that uh, go for smaller amounts of money. Uh, yep, yeah, some more of those. I'm gonna need so many parts you just can't imagine for the structure of my cabinet that a lot of these will kind of be like the fairground or the bright green plates that I was buying for many, many months um, just to sort of support everything that's going to go on top of them. So although it's pretty unexciting at this stage, it is extremely vital. Wow, I really did buy a lot. But with this store being such good value, um, even though they're all quite mucky, See, look, there's one thing in its own little jiffy pack. Why is that? I don't really don't understand. Um, yeah, I will, I will. They will all get used very well, I'm sure. So, ah, now here's some white ones, incredibly discolored white ones. I don't know if you can see that. Now, these ones, I was thinking of toying around with doing some icebergs kind of floating on the surface for my undersea cabinet, 20,000 bricks under the sea, just like. Um, was it Polar Bricks gave me with their uh, sort of mini iceberg build? Uh, the problem with that, by the way, is it's very heavy, the bottom part, because it's solid bricks. So the magnet that you'll need to kind of hold it on the underside of glass uh, will have to be very big and very strong. So I've got more magnets coming, actually. Uh, but that's what I'm starting to experiment with. Well, these are either very, very dirty or discolored or both. But yeah, anyway, they could be maybe the underwater part of an iceberg, which is always bigger, of course, than the bit on the surface. And then the dirt won't matter so much because they do get very mucky underneath there. And then you could kind of have fish milling around the underside bit as well. And then uh, a polar bear or something else on the top there. So yeah, it could be a good feature for the undersea cabinet, that. Last one of these bags before we move on to the smaller package. Could have anything in it, couldn't it? Right, another book. <laughs> old grey this time and the big one so we've got absolute every colour pretty much I think bar about green and some more train wheels four more of those so I think in total there was nine pairs of train wheels which means well I should have enough for four and a half more wagons now uh, they didn't have any buffers though quite annoyingly so basically I had to go somewhere else in a different order for the buffers and that isn't the small package which I'll open next all right, well, I've just had a bit of a tidy and I actually found two more white burps, would you believe, in all of the uh, mess of packaging and <laughs> all the rest of it. It really was that disorganised an order. But on to the smaller box now. And this one was actually a very important order in that, A, it fills up oh, a few things that I need for some upcoming projects. But more importantly than that, it is the final piece that I need, which is actually a replacement piece for my whale build. Uh, and it is imperative I got one of those because, well, it was essentially a piece that was missing from an earlier order. So basically I've, I'm kind of ready to go on a project that I've been really desperate to get building, uh, but I was one piece short and it's a vital piece. So let me have a rummage around. And I think it's, yeah, it's in here. And it better not be discolored like the uh, first one I got. I mean, it's a real catalog of errors. Basically I needed two of these, I got one in an order that didn't turn up, so it was just missing. I got another one that was seriously discolored. And this 
is the third one. So at least this one's all right, because they're quite hard to get hold of. Um, so I've got one that's nice, this one. I think this one's pretty nice. And then I've still got the discolored one, which I'll probably replace in due course. But at least I can still get on with the build now. Awesome. So the rest of this order now is completely just stuff that I found in a store that happened to have one of these. Uh, so isn't that crazy um, uh, in size or anything. But, um, you know, when you're there, you may as well get what you can. So there's just some bricks and plates there couple of yellow kind of dinosaur tails for underneath the sea. Uh, lots of tiny cheap plates in tan and a couple of Technic bits just to help hold plants onto the sea bottom and so on. So I don't think I'll tip those out. Red parts. These are for the bulldozer that I'm trying to build as part of that bulldozer break-in that I mentioned last time. There's a few more plates as well and some orange legs because I've run out of those for doing uh, well builders I suppose usually isn't it construction workers that use the orange legs so I just throw them on there while I was there I got a couple more burps why not so oh, there's one and that is the old brown kind of pointy one and there is another with some other bits in there as well oh I can't get it out I've got a green door that is a replacement because I used one on that um, supermarket build, of course, didn't I? And I stole it from somewhere. So basically that's to replace where I stole it from. And while we're talking about green doors, I've got this one, which is very sort of old and rare one in that it only came in one set. It's only one half, obviously, of a sort of archway door, but that was from uh, 6244 Armada Century from 1996 which is kind of like my fortlet in a way, somebody looking out for ships from uh, foreign powers coming to invade. Uh, and I will have to look out for a second one, of course, so I can use this as a uh, pair, probably around my harbour or somewhere like that. That's where it looks like it'd be in use. But they're very hard to come by, so you've got to buy it when you see it, when they're rare. So I've got one of those, and I'll look out for the other half, just like I've kind of been doing with this uh, droid and so on. Uh, one more purple slope, which is just for one of my ATMs. We've got a few more of those for under the sea, some normal grey bricks that I've run out of, and my usual sort of lime dinosaur uh, tails for plants. One more of these wibbly vines that I think are really good. I'm going to keep buying those, I think. They're from friend sets usually. Brown plates, pretty boring, but there's a brown propeller or two in there. I think I brought every combination to try on my Sheen and Zeppelin just for the photographs. So if I do that as a submission to Lego Ideas, I can make it look its very best. Some big bricks in town, again for under the sea. Some very brightly coloured bricks and plates in this azure colour and this magenta colour. And that's going to be for a train build, actually, that we've got the wheels for now. That is for the uh, challenge that was set for me to make uh, a very brightly coloured and very dynamic train wagon. So I'm looking forward to using all of those as well. I haven't got all the parts for that yet. Some milk cartons and a cupcake, all in that medium blue colour. Very nice. More grey bricks. I think this one, I was just mainly buying things that were cheap. So I've got some chain pieces in here and some panel pieces. I think they're for the bulldozer as well. Those sort of quarter panels and some of these angle bits, which I think are for a train build that I'm completing. More tan bricks. Another burp. Have I got enough burps? You should see the box, by the way, that all these will end up going into. I've got absolute mound of burps now, but um, yeah, I still look at the cabinet. I still think, oh, I'm going to need a lot more because there's three levels. There's the very bottom sort of UV level, the sort of what I'm thinking of as the dark tan level, uh, and then there's the main level being the sort of tan level. So yeah, I think I still need a lot. Uh, so there's another one of those. And then probably the most interesting bag. Oh, yes. <laughs> now... I remember buying this. This will need some explanation. Why did I buy this? <laughs> right, so this is a for juniors kind of minifigure, I suppose. And I've never had one before, so I didn't even know how big they were. And they're that big, so quite a bit bigger than a normal minifigure. Yeah, very big, like a giant. Uh, and this came in two sets, including 7074, Skull Island. And he's called Cannonball Jimmy. 
And I bought him out of curiosity, because, I mean, look at those hands, for example. They've kind of got fingers on. Kind of very creepy in a way. He's only got three fingers, one thumb on each hand. Yeah, I got him because he was seven pence. Yep, 7p for that. And I thought, well, curiosity can be satisfied for 7p, can't it? His hat doesn't come off. In fact, none of him comes apart, it seems. He's got a gold tooth. Anyway, I thought maybe he could be the decor around the uh, pirate roller coaster or something like that, like he was a sort of statue, uh, just sort of in pose or something. I don't know. He might look too disgusting to even use there, but I do quite like his peg leg. <laughs> so yeah, I'll try him and see how he looks. But uh, if you can think of any other use for him, Cannonball Jimmy, then do let me know. But yeah, seven pence. I mean, <laughs> you, know, you can't really go wrong, can you? So I'm assuming he can fit. There we go. Yeah, he goes on studs. A couple more cupcakes, unicorn horn and a bit of cheese in pale yellow. Oh, and these are some interesting bits. And this is partially why I picked this vendor. Uh, you know, I, I needed the, um, the, the white piece, but the reason why I picked this particular vendor was because this is quite a hard piece to come by that I need for my undersea base, which is just going to be uh, a part of the structure, but at least you can go through it so it can still be a tunnel uh, in black. Uh, and I needed quite a few of these one by six by one curved slopes in blue, and he had six, so that pretty much sealed the deal for me. So a combination of those, those, and that piece. And I thought, right, that's great. Uh, and then I've even got a bag of medium nougat arches and bricks, which is going to be starting off one of my first facades around the cargo area. Now, it'll either be actually on the cargo area that we just started, or it'll be on the harbour side against the wall, which is very bare at the moment. Uh, and I'm just in the planning phase. So I just bought those pieces kind of preemptively. But yeah, there we go. Wow, what a fantastic haul. Uh, fantastic, definitely in size, uh, a bit lacking in sort of care and quality on the first one. But um, yeah, there's still a lot of good stuff there. And it was all at a very reasonable price. So I can't really complain. Cool. I have asked little Robin to get off his glider for the final shot, but uh, he's addicted to it at the moment. So uh, yeah, he won't be told. So there he is on that still. Uh, that wasn't part of the haul, but all the rest was a very good haul indeed, especially these minifigures, which are really varied and I'm really looking forward to using as well. I think I've got ideas for all of them this time, which is very strange. Uh, and the most important piece, arguably, is this wonderful piece for the whale, which we can get building after we've done the cargo area, I suppose, uh, with the fortlet and the uh, Coast Guard station and all the rest of it. Now, Friday will be our 400th video, if you ignore things like the trailer and, uh, and the video video and so on. Uh, and to celebrate, I've managed to coerce Mrs. Hood, the wonderful Mrs. Hood, into comparing another question and answer session. So do send in your questions for that on this Friday. Uh, now, don't send them as comments to this video. There is a special community post for questions for that uh, session, and that's uh, available on my community page. Uh, on my channel. So if you do have problems accessing that with the device you usually watch this on, then maybe try accessing it using a phone or something like that. I think that usually has a better chance. Uh, so as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, we'll be doing the Q&A session. As I say, Monday we'll probably be going back to the cargo area because I'm really into that. Sorry, Fairground fans. <laughs> Sorry, another delay. Oh, God, well, will we get to it? Uh, but yeah, whatever we get up to, I'm sure we'll have great fun. So until then, see you. Mm -hmm.